all welcome to Keisha's Gossip and Truths. I know it's been a week or so since I posted a video but I've been kind of busy. You should know all the projects I have and not to mention I do hold a full-time job so a girl rarely gets sleep. Anyway in this video that was really high requested from a truth seeker or should I have said truth seekers in plural it's about Kevin Hart and his accident and you guys better pray that it doesn't get flagged because as I've told you they have flagged every single video I put up and I gotta pray that I pass review and which means if they're flagging my videos which means there is a high possible chance that my videos are not going to show up in your feed hence the low view count that I have versus other youtubers who talk about random stupid stuff and literally say verbatim what gossip sites say so with that being said let's get started Coming, guys. Don't worry. These are the emergency calls made moments after Kevin Hart's vintage muscle car careened off an L.A. road. He looks like he's the caller describing the chaotic scene early Sunday morning. Sounds like the passenger's stuck in the car. Uh, the driver is out of the car, but uh, he looks a little hurt. Uh, I think the top of the car is crushed. But today there is new confusion about who was behind the wheel. How many people are stuck inside, do you know? I think it's just one lady out. Uh, the driver is out right now. They're trying to get the passenger out. The bystander saying he saw the driver get out of the car, but the initial report says Hart's friend, Jared Black, was in the driver's seat and trapped in the vehicle when emergency crews arrived. Police say Black's fiance, fitness trainer Rebecca Broxterman, was also unable to get out of the car. In the newly released calls, an unidentified male voice can also be heard speaking in the background. But police did not say any of the passengers were taken to the hospital on their own, indicating only Hart left the scene to his nearby residence to get medical attention. The initial police report also saying alcohol was not a factor in the crash. At 2.15 a.m., a woman identifying herself as Hart's wife called 911 from their home. He was in a car accident earlier tonight, or what happened? Yes, earlier tonight. I don't know what happened. He's not coherent at all. Did he get treatment originally from when he was injured? Did he go to the hospital, or? No, 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 no treatment at all. We're just here, and he can't, he can't move. Is there any uh, obvious broken bones that you can tell? you see anything broken? Uh, just something on his back is pulling out on his spine. Hart is expected to make a full recovery after undergoing back surgery. But four days after the accident, police sources familiar with the matter tell NBC News the investigation remains ongoing after a late night ride involving one of Hollywood's biggest stars. You know, I wasn't going to touch on this, I must say, though I wasn't. You know, I was actually thinking about posting it on my Instagram, but I'm like, ah, nah, whatever. You know, but it seemed to have gone really, really viral. I mean, there's information about this accident that's really pondering and puzzling. So it is what it is. Because, and also because I know many bloggers are already reporting on this, you know what I mean? But it seems that Kevin Hart was involved in a car accident over the weekend. Now, what's weird is that. I received the report minutes after the accident, believe it or not, and I ignored it because the initial report was they didn't know he was in the car or not, and that, you know, everything was okay, and he, it was just his car that was in an accident, but they didn't know he was in the car, and then I saw reports that he wasn't in the car, so I was like, okay, I'm not going to report that, it's stupid. But then hours later, I started getting media alerts from all blogs that Kevin was among them and that he had suffered back problems. Not to mention him having surgery because of the accident. Thankfully, he pulled through. Here are the details. It seems that Mahalan Highway, at the time of the accident, the driver was Jared Black. And apparently, he lost control of the car and tumbled into an embankment. Black was found pent on the driver's seat under the roof. A female passenger identified as Black's fiance, Rebecca Broxtonman, who was also pent. However, it was told that Black, he had to be airlifted 
out of there to the UCLA Medical Center, and his condition is unknown. Now, Brock Smith, Black's fiance, was unharmed. I mean, she is completely fine, thankfully. Now, since this accident, conveniently, an interview of him making some comments about Little Nas, I don't know if he called himself Little Nas X or 10, I don't know, had emerged. Take a look at this clip. And with all that early success, you felt it was important to make a, an announcement recently. He said he was gay, so what? Yeah, what's the point? So why, uh, the, why did cares? he feel that was necessary? So about who cares? That's actually my question. Why do you feel it was necessary to come out and say that? It's not that like it's like being forced. It's just like knowing like growing up, like I'm grown. I'm growing up to hate this shit. I'm not supposed to growing ever to hate like this. Hate what? Hate what? Homosexuality, gay Why? people. Come on now. Why are you going to? If you're really it? from the hood, you know. You like. You know. Like it's. It's, it's not some. So it's like if for me, the the cool dude with the song on top of everything to say this, any other time. Like, I'm doing this for attention in my eyes. But if you're doing this, like, while you're at the top, you know it's, like, for real. And it's, like, showing, like, it doesn't really, like, matter, I guess. Exactly. It does. There it is. Now, I'm sure why he's being grilled, because he merely said, so what? And that him being gay is his business. It was the media twisting what he said to confirm what he was trying to say, as you saw in the video. He said, why you growing up to hate it? And he went on to explain that he chose to come out because he was already at the top of his game and had nothing, you know, to gain from it. And that it, this is basically what he said, okay? He said, if you're doing this while you're at the top, you know it's for real and it's showing it doesn't really matter. He said, but this doesn't go so well with the public who are very sensitive about this subject. And they accuse Kevin of gaslighting the rapper. But I don't think that was the case. But this may be because of what was revealed not too long ago in the past of a tweet that Kevin Hart seemingly being opposed to homosexuality. This is the tweet. Yo, if my son comes home and tries to play with my daughter's dollhouse, I'm going to break it over his head and say in my voice, stop that gay. Now, truth be told, this was a long time ago, okay? But if you think about it, Kevin hasn't made any praises toward gays. He kind of, you know, in a hush-hush and no comment kind of attitude. But you all have to understand, <clears throat> Kevin is coming from a time where as being gay was highly frowned upon and looked down at. A lot of men are scarred from that and they still keep this stigma somewhat. Kevin may be okay with gays, but he still may oppose it and don't understand it. So, with that being said, that's why the public is still sensitive to anything he may say about this subject. And they will continue to pick apart any comment he may say about it. The interviewer, I believe, knew this, and I think he set Kevin up to be picked apart. But I want to go back a little here and get back to his car accident I am because it does remind me of some things that had occurred with him in the past. So with that being said, let's go back. Okay, aside for him being replaced by Kelly Clarkson, you know, on her show there, but his co-star actor friend Rock Johnson, whom left his honeymoon to film in, but truth be told, Kevin getting into car accidents isn't anything new, okay? It was just six years ago, whereas in 2013, whereas he was speeding down a freeway at 90 miles per hour in his black Mercedes, weaving across traffic lanes and almost running into a gas tanker truck, oh yes. When patrol officer pursued him, he took an off ramp and pulled over and the police said this, Mr. Hart had objective signs of intoxication and was unable to perform the field sobriety test. But it gets crazier because, you know, Kevin is a comedian, right? So he tweeted this about the accident a little later. This is what he said. When the cop asked me to take a sobriety test, I said, why waste our time? I'm drunk, man. <laughs> the Los Angeles traffic police officer <laughs> arrested Kevin on suspicion of, of drunk driving and he went to jail and held him on a $5,000 bond. Then last year, yes, last year, he was involved in a plane scare. It seems suspiciously the tire burst on his private plane just as his pals, okay, were flying from Philly to Boston to cheer on the 76ers in their NBA playoffs game later in the evening when while landing in Boston, mm -hmm. causing the jet to fishtail. Take a look at the video. 
crazy. Crazy. Pull the flat shit shell like crazy. Safe and sound. Look at this. Your boy got angels on his back. I got real life angels on my back. Nancy, Annalie, Art, my mother, God. I'm protected. I truly believe it. I always have, but when, when things like this happen, it's confirmation. Confirmation. God is good, so is life. Woo! they all survived. I mean, thankfully, they all survived. And he was able to make it to Boston TD Garden to watch his beloved 76ers in Game 2 against the Celtics. His close friend and newly freed Meek Mill could have ended up on the same nearly doomed flight, but he flew to Boston abroad the private jet of Sixers owned by Micah Rubin instead. Now, let's go deep. Now, get to numerical about this. After every incident, Kevin gets a spree of good luck. If you don't, you know, get what I'm saying. For example, after the accident in 2013, his stand up Let Me Explain came out. He got divorced and got married to his beautiful wife. And his career basically took off. But before then, his career was kind of shaky. He had many hits and misses. Now, this fire of his is still lasting, I see, but please note that when such great success comes jealousy, for example, Coming to America is in production and his fans are asking Kevin Hart to be a part of it, but it was told that they don't want him there, more than likely because his star is too bright and he would outshine legendary Eddie Murphy. But think back to some of the biggest movies and actors and actresses that were coming out in the past and coincidentally a death so happened to come such as the death of Heath Ledger, Brittany Murphy, Paul Walker, or Leah, and countless of others. Conveniently they all died right before the release and the movie did very well in the box office. Well Kevin Hart got two movies that's coming out you know Jumanji The Next Level on December 13th 2019 and Fatherhood on April 30th 2020. One of these movies are coincidentally coming out around the same time as Coming to America, you know, the second, is set to release August 7, 2020. Meaning, legendary Eddie Murphy may get outshined by Kevin's movie, Fatherhood, that's being released in April. Oh, and conveniently, Kevin, okay, Kevin's movie is by the same writer of Nutty Professor 2, The Clumps. Oh, yes. Now, judging from this writer's record and profile, he needs this movie to be a hit because he hasn't had one in quite a while. But with Eddie Murphy movie coming out just four months after, isn't looking so good. You know what I mean? I hope and pray that Kevin Hart doesn't become a victim of a sacrifice for a hit movie. Or, 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 you can swing the other way and say that he was set up to be injured. So that he can't be a part of coming to America. That way everybody wins, you know what I mean? Because the driver, Jared Black, who got airlifted out of the car, condition is still unknown. No one knows what the heck is going on with him. And his fiance was fine. But it, it was told, though, that Jared was pinned against the steering wheel and the police or fire department reportedly had to saw off the roof of the car or whatever part of the car to get him out. So I don't know. I have many thoughts about this. I mean... This just sounds very suspicious, so tell me your thoughts below, okay? Do you think that Kevin Hart is 
being set up to be continuously injured for I don't know coming back comedians or upcoming comedians was this a way to slow down his success or is just this all a freaking coincidence who knows and I know this video is gonna be flagged and I'm never gonna get any views which is why I barely post on here because again it's like running in place so it's very frustrating um, but all I can say is thanks for subscribing and please share 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 the more you share the more people can watch it and hopefully get the message as well and please leave your request for movies down or not movies but videos down below or just message me through my Instagram I tend to get those quicker than my email I don't really check my email because I get so many freaking emails I can't keep track of all those freaking emails and Facebook I really don't be on Facebook as much I'm trying to be so you better off direct message me on Instagram I check that more than any other messenger I have for these platforms okay other than that Thank you for subscribing and thank you for hanging with me. I love you all. I really do appreciate everything you have done for me. Love you, love you, love you. And don't forget to subscribe to all my platforms. It's listed below. And don't forget to sign up for my blog because I post on it every day and I get to say what I want to say and not have to be so PG, even though it doesn't matter if I'm PG because they still flag the shit anyway. So other than that, love you all. Bye.